What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is one emphasizing one of my favorite type of Grateful Dead jams, which is that of Feel Like a Stranger, a very Mixolydian type jam, right? One flat seven four chord progression, which is incredible. So take a look at that as well as what makes the Mixolydian sound slash mode, as well as how can we make these three chords have all the same notes in them. So at which point, if we know all the notes on the fingerboard, we're getting out of this pattern idea and just seeing notes which can result in ultimate freedom of the fingerboard. So let's go. Well, all right. So that was a very obvious jam in the style of Feel Like a Stranger by the Grateful Dead. Dead & Co. have actually been doing some pretty cool versions of that song lately. If you want, in my opinion, the best Dead & Co. version, check out Portland 2016. That's a killer Feel Like a Stranger. So today's video isn't a theory is dead video it's more of a idea of why this song is one of my favorite mixolydian jams just pulling up my notes on my ipad so before we dive into the meat and potatoes of this let's first analyze what is the mixolydian scale then we'll see how this progression falls into the mixolydian scale and then finally, we'll see how can we jam and what notes are our friends in this three chord progression. And how can we elevate a solo starting low and sort of building high you now? And how can we see all these things as just notes as opposed to patterns? So first up, let's check out the Mixolydian scale. So we can say the song, how I see it at least, is an A Mixolydian. So A Mixolydian scale would be an A major scale, right? Right? A major scale. But to make it Mixolydian, we have to modify one note. And we're going to change this G sharp, this major 7, to a flat 7, a G natural. So now the scale will look like this. Right? Right? And as you guys should know, your five patterns of the major scale will just modify that G sharp to a G natural. Right. 
the notes in A major being A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G natural, A. Right? A lot of the times I emphasize knowing all the f- notes on the fretboard for this exact same reason. Because we want to know and we want to have you guys in a position that says, if someone says we're doing a mixed Lydian jam, you know it's a major scale with a flat seven degree. Right? So if someone plays A, you know that you can play this G. That's the flat seven, right? You can play this C sharp, that's the major third. You can play this E, that's the fifth, or this B, that's the second degree, right? No matter where you are, here. Right? The more you know what notes make up a scale, what are their sharps and flats, and all the notes on the fingerboard, the more confidence you'll have in forgetting about patterns and just seeing notes and just making sure you have all the fretboard to your use, just making sure that you land on the correct notes because that's what it's all about. (laughs) So why is Stranger a mixed Lydian jam? Well, because the chords are G major, which is the flat 7 major, the D, which is the 4, back to A, right? So now let's look at these notes and why they work. In G, flat 7 major, obviously our flat 7 degree is the G. The D, which is the 5th, in G is the fourth degree in A. And this B, which is the major third in this G chord, is the second degree in A. Right? When we go to this D major, this F sharp is the third degree of D, but the sixth degree, major sixth, of A major. D being our root, obviously, is also our fourth in the key of A. And A being the fifth in D, which is also the root in A. And then A. We have root, third, fifth. Triads, right? You can do it here. Something like that. Right? So all these notes that make up the scale are in this A Mixolydian scale. But what if you're in a different position and you just see the scale somewhere in D? Well, lucky for you, A Mixolydian and D major are the exact same scales because they have A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, right? So if you're in the heat of the battle and you find yourself on this D chord on 10th position, You're good to go. All those notes are in the exact same key as A Mixolydian. They say they share the exact same notes. So again, ultimate freedom. What happens if you're right here in this A and you're playing this G chord right around here? Well, all we have to do now is just modify this G chord so it has a C sharp. Right, it gives it a really Lydian scale because that's sharp four. But again, we're just modifying this G 
so it has the same notes as a mixolydian. You can also see it as playing the mixolydian scale from the flat seven degree. G, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G. Right? So again, ultimate freedom. Now we're out of the patterns and just seeing the eight notes that make up this Mixolydian scale. So now, how can we approach soloing over this progression, which is one of my favorites that the Grateful Dead do? We can come up here to about the 14th fret, and here's our A, and we can play this A Mixolydian scale right here. Right? Some notes, as we'll put now with the looper, fit perfectly while others create a bit of tension, right? And a little bit of suspense when you land on them. Others, like I said, work perfect. So I'm gonna engage the looper now with this chord progression and we'll see what we can do and what notes do and don't work. So check it out. That's just G to A, right? So let's go up here and see what can happen. F sharp. Just sticking to pure A mixolydian. Right? So that's only in one area. Right? And again, as you practice that, you'll see what notes work, what are the color tones, and what notes don't essentially like to be landed on fully, right? For example, if you're playing that A and you're hitting this G, there's tension, or vice versa, hitting the G and playing the A, there's still tension there, right? So the next step would be, how could you build a solo, right? For example, in the beginning parts of these jams with the Grateful Dead, sometimes they'll be super high. I'll also engage the Qtron. Right in one area. But what if you want to start on the fifth fret? 
and come down. Right? The more you know the fretboard and you get out of this idea of patterns and just see notes, the whole fretboard opens up for you. At which point you're just connecting the dots for all these scales, right? Right, you can go like that or something like. It's all connecting the dots, figuring out these little phrases that you can build, that you can expand, that you can take back. And at the very end, you're having a fun, super cool mixed litigan jam with the Qtron or the Mutron, whatever you want. And you're basically jamming, feel like a stranger. Well, all right, guys, that's today's video on one of my favorite Grateful Dead mixed litigan jams, Feel Like a Stranger. It's one of the few songs that I've wanted to hear live from Dead & Co. that I haven't yet. So maybe at Hollywood Bowl, they'll play it, which would be awesome. <laughs> so hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.